In today's India, we see bulldozers specifically targeting the properties of Muslims. Are the homes and businesses of a minority community being targeted in the name of justice, or is there a deeper agenda? A Hindu group of extremist mob and hate mongers led by BJP MLA Gopichan Mina has surrounded the Jama Masjid in Jahazpur, chanting bhajans and kirtans, all in the presence of the local police. The law and order of India is blind and deaf and resting in peace. It's like these guys have completely lost it in their religious fanaticism, taking devotion to a whole new level of absurdities. Why are bulldozers targeting Muslim-owned properties? In Bilwara's Jahazpur, Rajasthan, tensions erupted when a Hindu group gathered in front of the Shahi Masjid and raised provocative slogans, leading to stone pelting between both communities. Viral videos showing some individuals from the Hindu group attacking the homes and businesses of Muslims. As the situation escalated, the local MLA ordered bulldozers to demolish shops and cabins owned by Muslims. He even threatened to bulldoze the mosque as well, demanding the mosque's documents to prove its legality. This raises an important question. Is the rule of law being ignored? Are courts irrelevant now? Should courts be shut down? Hindu criminals in groups. In the presence of blind and deaf police, vandalized shops owned by Muslims while chanting derogatory slogans like Mullah Thule Nahi Chalange. As you can see, Muslim-owned shops were looted, vandalized, and some were even set on fire. These shops, which had been leased by the local municipality, became the target of mob violence. Instead of working towards peace, the local MLA declared the mosque illegal and demanded its documents, threatening further bulldozer action. Soon after, Muslim-owned shops were bulldozed in the presence of the authorities, while radical groups celebrated the destruction. The Supreme Court of India has strongly criticized the practice of demolishing properties as a punitive measure against individuals accused of crimes, stating that such actions violate the rule of law. This isn't just happening in Jahazpur. From Palampur, Himachal Pradesh, to other parts of India, a dangerous pattern is emerging. Muslim-owned properties are being selectively targeted, and the rule of law is being trampled. The rise of communal tensions in India, particularly surrounding Muslim communities, has been a subject of increasing concern. Incidents where bulldozers are used to demolish properties owned by Muslims are being criticized as discriminatory. Critics argue that the use of bulldozers in such cases undermines the principles of justice and legality. The Supreme Court's remarks on such actions are often ignored, leading to a sense of lawlessness. Let us raise our voices for justice, for unity, for peace. It's time we stand together against hate and violence. Subscribe to our channel for more content that brings light to the issues facing the Ummah today. Together we can make a difference.